Do you own a store? Planning to market your products online, like Google Shopping? What comes in your agenda to get it done swiftly? To market your products online like in Google Shopping, you need to get your products uploaded into Google. So how do you go about that? To help every entrepreneur, Google has launched Google Merchant Center. This eases your process to get your products on Google Shopping. Google Merchant Center needs only the Google product feed, to help you get online. The product feed being quite an integral part of Google Merchant Center, you need to get it done in an error-free manner. In order to get the product feed generated, automatically, use the Google product feed generator. In the case of WooCommerce, we have Elix WooCommerce Google product feed plugin, which eases up the process. Let us walk through the process of generating a Google product feed using Elix WooCommerce Google product feed plugin. The plugin is quite easy to use and has a very communicative interface. Create feed. The create feed page helps to create the product feed. Here we enter the project name which is the product feed name. Then, you can enter the project description, which can be an informative one emphasizing the details of the feed. It can also be left blank. Select the country for which you want to specifically create the feed. On the basis of selecting this, the attributes will be listed in the upcoming tabs. Include variations is for including the WooCommerce product variations. Default category will help you to map the category by default, you can leave it when you have a lot many products to be mapped to different categories. Currently, XML, CSV and TSV file formats are supported, which will be enhanced in the upcoming versions. You can schedule a refresh schedule for your feeds on a daily, weekly, and even on a monthly, basis, depending upon how frequently you are updating the data on your products in your store. The advanced options here is specifically for the unique identifiers like GTIN, MPN and brand. Some products when they do not possess these identifiers the auto set identifier exists is set to no for uploading the feeds error free. Once these data are set, you can save and continue to the next tab. The next tab is for map category. It helps to map your product category to Google Taxonomy. In here, when by default you have entered the product category in the default category, then you need not enter here all the categories. But if your product category is different, you can just type in and select the required one. If you have not selected any default category, upon typing in the category, the Google taxonomy appears in the text area and the checkbox corresponding to it is checked automatically. Once all the product category is successfully mapped to the Google category, click on save and continue. Else you can go back and even modify the same. Next tab contains the map attributes. Here we map the Google attributes to the product attributes. By default, the plugin picks the attribute correctly. If in case you need to change some attributes you can do that, here. The plugin lets you append or even prepend any data to the respective attribute pertaining to any conditions also. Like for example, you want to append or prepend a brand name to the product description. Another important feature is setting rules for your feed. You can set any number of conditions for uploading your feed. Like suppose. Rule 1 as. If the product regular price is greater than 500 or regular price less than 100, then set the values as regular price or set the default value as regular price. All these conditions will be considered while creating the feed. You can also add additional optional fields if you want to include certain attributes. Once the attributes are mapped, then save and continue. Next is the exclusions tab. The exclusions tab helps to exclude certain products from the Google product feed. All you just need to do is type in the name of the product and then it appears. Once done, click on generate feed. Yet another feature of the plugin is it helps to set meta tags which are customized to support your own products. In the settings page, you can simply add the meta keys and then save them. These meta keys appear on the attributes mapping section, if you want to map these custom made meta keys to your product feed. The settings also contain the path of the product feed files that are saved, 
you can also change the path according to your need. The Manage feed contains all the feeds that generated at the moment. The data includes the date of creation, the URL, the modified date, the next schedule for the feed etc. In here you can edit, copy, pause, regenerate, download, view as well as delete the feed. Again, just generating the feed doesn't help, you need to link it to Google Merchant Center. Once the feed is generated, you need to upload the same in the Google Merchant Center. Go to Products and then Feeds. Click on Add Primary Feed. Enter the country of sale, which is the country to which you want to sell your products. Then the language, and the destination to which the feeds are targeted. Google Merchant Center allows to upload feed in various ways, look at the video description to know more about it. Here we use Schedule Fetch, for our product feed, for ease. Also, provide the feed name. In the next page, we enter the feed file name, which must be matching to the name you gave for your file in the plugin. Provide the feed fetch frequency. Suppose you gave the fetch schedule as for every Monday at 12 noon in the plugin, then it is ideal to provide one hour late time for fetch in the Google Merchant Center. Then enter the file URL. Finally, click on T create feed. You can see the feed is generated. Now you need to set up Google Ads and link it to the Google Merchant Center to successfully finish the process. Go to Tools and then Shopping Ads Setup. Here provide the business information like the products, shipping and tax related. You can also verify and claim your website URL read more about it in the product description. Finally, link your account to the Google Ads. You need to enter the Google Ad Account ID, and then send link request. On doing so, your Google Ads account will receive a request to link your account to your Google Merchant Center. You can even make use of Google Analytics and set up shopping ads successfully. In this way, you get all your products to Google Shopping. Thank you for watching. For more interesting plugins please visit www.lextensions.com Read more about our interesting plugins here. Please feel free to subscribe to our channels.